Jack Fink has uh, spent his day here. You've been talking to people who live. This is a residential area just on the north side of Northwest Highway. A lot of people with a lot of damage in, in a few square blocks. And you know, Doug, when we get to these scenes, it never fails to amaze me the power of the wind. If you take a look at this man's backyard right over there, that's his greenhouse. It was moved off the ground by about 10 feet. And then take a look at this blue cord here. This and that piece of tin, they actually came from a car wash about a block away. I said, did it hit our car wash? And he said, it's gone. The storm put the grapevine car wash through its own spin cycle. One of the owners, Vic Ware, was at home nearby when he heard about it and feared the worst until he arrived. <laughs> I'm not devastated as much as I was by looking at the pictures. I mean, it's a disaster, but it's fixable. So, but this, this is nothing I've ever been through and nothing I want to go through again. Across from the car wash along Northwest Highway, a gas station and the Waffle Way restaurant next door also sustained damage. The wind knocked down power lines, shattered windows, snapped trees, and scattered debris in a variety of areas in Grapevine. Randy and Michelle Popeil built their home 18 months ago and now have a hole in their roof that they've covered, and the backyard took the brunt of it, including their greenhouse. I think it's a loss. What do you think? <laughs> I, I, I think that'll be a new one. That and my gazebo, all that. It'll all clean up. It'll just, it'll be a while. Popeil says he and his wife are so lucky. That house of theirs could have been leveled. It is still standing, Doug. And you know, the interesting thing, I talked to him for a few minutes as well. He talked about the fact that some people, may, you know, insurance might say, oh, straight line win. He has, he's got debris from one side yeah. of the house that ended up everywhere else. Oh, yeah, that's what's so amazing. He had some planters that are still sitting right where they were before the storm right. came through and others that were right next to them on the other side of the house. That's Mother Nature, right? We, we never know. So highly unpredictable. Jack, thank you.